For those of you who don't like long, drawn-out preaching and teaching, this is for you. You ever get frustrated, wondering why you were created, the whole space invaded, sit in torment, even asking yourself why you're here this very moment. But in the future, you are presently partaken. Hey yo, this the movie in the making, starring you. And you already know who's taping. We just here to keep it blatant. I advise you pay attention. Just need I mention that this, like your life, is an important production. One of the greatest you are yet to see. And everyone is inside of the view with different. Just keep in mind that like with some, you can't press rewind. And there ain't no repeats. So take your seats. Here we go, with a little bit of a flow. May you all be free to, in your heart, feel the beat. When you think of creation, you think of the birds in the air, the fish in the sea, even the trees. A beautiful or abstract pain. We, we get the beauty. Rarely do we consider ourselves when we discuss the subject of creativity. We think of ourselves as artists, but not as a work of art. And if I'm being totally honest, that's exactly what we are. See, God created man in his own image. Male and female, he created them. Genesis 127. From the viewpoint of an artist, we want every picture to be the best ever painted. So what if I told you that God was the exact same way? All of us are the best art that he's ever made. And when he was finished, there was nothing to be left. No, nothing left to be done. But what about the person I've become? Suffocating from shame, pushing all the air out of my lungs. I'm taking a hold of a piece of coal and it's burning me, but I can't let it go. What happens when who I want to be starts hurting me? The people we choose to be differ drastically from who God has destined us to be. Well, the only person stopping me from making these decisions is me. There's a person inside of all of us wanting to be released. When we find our identity in Christ, we will realize that we are all victims in, in the case of a soul and an identity. And we're the thief. We have been locked in a prison that is our mind telling us so many lies. This is where we've hidden our true identity. You see, we can't let God in if we don't give him the key. See, I like to think of him as a gentleman. He won't force us up upon you. But God knows. He always knew. Before we were placed in the womb of the woman who could be our mother, he already knew who he wanted us to be. There's no escaping. You can run, but there is no hiding. Because no matter how much we hide, God stops me. And trust me, he will find. He never stops looking for us. And if I read my Bible right, God is always with us. And that, God is love. First John 4.8. So it doesn't matter who we are, no matter where we've been, and no matter what we've done. Love covers the multitude of sin. First here, 4.8. You see, God created us with love. And it is very true that he created all things. But the, the most important is me. And you know I said it, so there ain't no fixing. And if he were to do it all over again, he will make it the exact same way just to prove it. Just to prove that the person you are is the person he loves. With no limit. So no. We don't need a time machine to go back and fix what we think went wrong. So you can scratch that option off the list. Because the past wrong is the chosen one. It's a struggle to make you strong, the love that helps us move on. But one thing we must know is a, a very important one. Our work. Well, we're so much more than you'll ever know. Worthy? Me? No. How? When all I've done is fail, all I've seen is jail. Worse? Isn't something I deserve. Yes, but grace isn't fair. And love doesn't fail. We will work in innocent life, life, life giving up our three nails. And if that does the free worth, I'm going to tell you what will. God so loved the world that he gave us his only son, so that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3 16. But God shows his love for us, and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5 8. He who did not spare his only son, but gave him up for us all. How will he not, with him so graciously, give us all things? Romans 8.32 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed, and the new has come. Second Corinthians 5.17 What we're saying is, you're worth so much more than you think. See, we expect God to punish and shun us. But we're here to tell you, he ain't in the world of so don't be deceived. There's purpose for everything. And I know that might lead a few questions like, why am I here? 
And am I here for a reason? Where am I going? Did God see something in me? What is my purpose? Can it be fulfilled? Yes. But now, now we have, have a question for you. Put yourself in your own booth. Because in this movie, you're playing you. So, who are you?